What up, y'all? It's January 29th. About to go head out to this location uh, and uh, check out the spot for a scene in the next video for the get down uh, off the EP Polar Opposites. And today is Tuesday, so Tuesday, January 29th. Getting the week going, you know what I mean? Going out January with a bang. Sent out uh, a DJ Pax to some radio personalities and uh, mix show DJs. And we're getting a lot of uh, Spotify push, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and YouTube video views and, and viral blast campaigns going. So we're going to keep that going. And then rolling out to the next single, which is going to be Get Down. It's going to be more radio friendly. So trying to get that across the airwaves. But yeah, I'm about to be out uh, be out at the spot right now. Um, give y'all some uh, a look to see what it, what it's looking like in the location. You know what I'm saying? For like backyard boogie type of vibe and scene that we got going. So putting the treatment together and locking in the locations. So uh, I'll let y'all check it out in a minute. Just came from the spot. Got a cool little location. Now we gotta wait out the weather because it's supposed to rain the rest of this week. And I gotta see what the forecast is looking like in the next couple of weeks. Probably sometime next month. But uh we're gonna get back to uh doing some more submissions for for the white tripper single. Try to uh submit it to Sirius XM. There's a lot of back end stuff going on with the royalties and making sure the registration is correct. And then uh, this weekend, we're going to be headed to the studio on Saturday. Uh, conference call, we're working with this producer, uh, Lazy Rider Beats, um, from overseas. And we got some new music we're going to be working on and releasing some singles. Kicking up more traction, so I'll bring y'all into that when we, when we get in the mix with that music soon just look look forward to the push and the flood what's up with y'all about to go head down to this show coast to coast is in town i know y'all heard of coast to coast mixtapes they be going around the country putting on in uh showcases and uh where the artist had a chance to win like fifty thousand. i didn't sign up to perform this time but i'm gonna go check it out since it's in my backyard i'm gonna give y'all some of the behind the scenes footage check it out see y'all there with feedback and positive criticism. So with that being said, we have three rules with every Coast to Coast Live Showcase. Rule number one is get your network on, shake your hand, meet a friend. It might be a producer, a senior studio engineer, somebody in here that you can build with. So on the count of three, I want you to turn around and shake somebody's hand and say hello. One, two, three, go. Speed network. Speed network. <laughs> all right i'm back out of there you know what i'm saying it was a small little spot kind of tight didn't really want to you know what i'm saying record too much of just filler so you know just a quick little snippet of what the venue looked like and you know what i'm saying i should have performed man <laughs> i wanted to come out here and see what it's all about i've been getting the emails and and submitting for the contest and when it's in the backyard, you know what I'm saying? That was a no-brainer, but there was like five contestants and they had two guest performers and uh, I was able to link up with a couple people though, you know what I'm saying? So networking is always key. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like just wanted to see what it was all about, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I might be able to catch something else, who, who knows? Uh, they got like the grand prize um, Labor Day weekend um, out in Miami, you know what I'm saying? It's like cash prize 50,000, so. It's a lot at stake, you know what I'm saying? Opportunities out there, so it's got to get back out in the mix, get ready for to perform, you know what I'm saying? Getting the show mixes together, and when we got this content out, you know what I'm saying? Got to hit the hit the stage and get live one time. So, all right, y'all. Until next time, keep it locked. All right, so just got an email this morning um, after submitting. Why you tripping record to uh, Sirius XM and they gave us some feedback and basically said that the record didn't have enough energy or didn't really fit the, the format 
That seems to be a common theme with a lot of these radio stations, whether it's terrestrial or internet radio. And I mean, the record has like a, a boom bap feel, but you hear a lot of that on Shade 4 or 5. Um, different mix shows that they got going on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's a matter of trying to fit it into their normal programming or if it's a matter of trying to pitch it to certain mix show DJs because it definitely fits the format of what they spin. They spin every kind of hip hop, you know what I'm saying, over the years. It doesn't matter. They, they go back and forth with it. Um, but this next record that we're going to push, which is Get Down, it's a lot more radio friendly, you know what I mean, good time vibe type of flow. Um, so that's going to be the next one that we're going to push for the radio. This is, I guess you could say, more of a street single. Um, but we're going to go from there. So it's just a lot of the challenges that you're being faced with as an indie artist, you know what I'm saying, trying to get out there and push for radio and, you know, understand that what you hear on a daily basis every 15, 20, 30 minutes is being pushed and driven through the label. So they control the market in terms of all that. Uh, so someone like Lil O Me trying to get on in the indie artist spotlight, you know, I'm trying to go primarily for these mix show DJs and, and give them the records and we sent out the DJ packs, you know, and it's the same kind of feedback as far as being able to play it in the club, but I mean, they have their own segment on air that they would be able to work it in. So just back to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? Not to get discouraged. I've been down this road before. So we're just going to keep coming with one more records. The next thing goes a lot more radio friendly. Hopefully that one will pick up and get some traction. Um, but if not, we're going to be working on more singles just to try to make something that that, uh, that works. Not really chasing a certain sound, but going to try to work different records. There's a difference. When you're trying to chase a sound, you're going to kind of lose the authenticity as opposed to just make other radio friendly records, starting with the production. And then, I mean, you know, from start to finish with, with, you know, the hook to the to the subject matter and content with the lyrics. And we're going to try again to the next record. So, uh, but White Trip is get, getting some good response in terms of the Spotify streaming. And we're going to keep blasting that off in the video too on YouTube. And we got the Get Down video um, that we're about to shoot next month. And uh, we'll be pushing that next. So stay tuned for that. Um, next vlog, hopefully I'll get some more, uh, well, I will have some more behind the scenes footage where we kind of listen to beats or if we starting from a record from scratch, kind of just take you into that behind the scenes element and how we trying to create and, uh, just bring y'all into that aspect. I know it's a lot of talking right now, but I just want to be able to explain the timeline and what we got going on. And then, you know. We have a lot of recording already been going on and records that are pending and we want to continue to make new material so we have um, ready for radio friendly purposes and we're building our catalog for the next project. So uh, until next time, y'all just, you know what I mean, stay tuned. Let me know what y'all want to see. Like I said, behind the scenes footage in the studio, kind of just writing, listening to beats. Uh, I'll bring that into the next vlog. Maybe answer any questions y'all may have, you know, and uh, make sure you follow me on all social handles and just keep it locked on a daily basis as well. Till next time, y'all. Mm -hmm.